Please all rise for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good morning. Let us include in our prayers the intentions of Luminador Guzman Sr., Nancy Tan and family, Feli Kiambao and family, Ganapin family, Peruel de la Peña, Santos Ildes, Alegre families, Corazon Alegre, Lourdes Clem, Cecil Keeping David, Noel Caparas, Jesse Rex Chua, wife and children, Joy Ann Rochelle, John Raven, Sean Corey, Jenny Marjo Jomar, Fortaleza family, Velasco family, De Los Reyes family, Elena Chowa and family, Patrogen and Albert, Dam, Holy Face of Jesus Organization, Family Rosary Crusade Organization, Apostleship of Prayer Organization, Raimondo Santos, Lito Abad, and for the birthday of Raquel Payumora Pirap and Alvina Atienza. And for the eternal repose for the soul of the following, Angelico and Estelita, Alfonso and Landina, Lotgardo and Erlinda, Gregorio, Raul Jr., Kevin Morton, Dr. Susan Jane Cello, Zinaida Gonzalez, Maria Luisa Tan, Julita Palomo, Panganiban, Virginia Baliares, Patrocinio Baliares Sr., Honorato Agis, Joven Paul, Pilajo Masapikenya, Eduardo and Nena Jolito, and All Souls in Purgatory. Magandang umaga po, mga kasambuhay, mga kaparokya. Iaalay po natin mula sa main altar ng Our Lady of Soros Parish, Pasay City, ang Santa Misa, para sa iba't ibang intentions ng mga parokyano, diboto at benefactors ng Our Lady of Soros. Ang Misa ay iaalay ng mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya. Sa oras na ito, ang Mass Presider ay si Reverend Father Ramil Tapang, SSP. Tayo po ay makiisa at ibigay ang sandaling ito kay Jesus sa banal na Eucharistia. 
entrance antiphone. O come, let us worship God and bow low before the God who made us, for he is the Lord our God. Ngayong araw na ito ay Martes. At dahil Martes ay ating ring ipinagdiriwang bilang parokya ang Martes Dolores. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us recognize our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, let the water teem with an abundance of living creatures, and on the earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. God created the great sea monsters and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teems, and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was, and God blessed them, saying, Be fertile, multiply, and fill the water of the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. Evening came, and morning followed, the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, plintings, and wild animals of all kinds. And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things of the earth. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion of fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl the ground. God created man and his image. In the divine image, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food and to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground. I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. 
Since on the seventh day, God was finished with the work he had been doing. He rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. Because on it, he rested from all the work he had done in creation. Such is the story of the heavens and the earth at their creation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord our God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels, and count him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O sheep and oxen, yes, in the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Incline my heart, O God, to your decrees, and favor me with your law. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed. The purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, Why do your, your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands. He responded, Well, did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, How well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, if someone says to father or mother, any support you might have had from me is korban, meaning dedicated to God. You allow him to do nothing more for his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on, and you do many such things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning po sa inyong lahat. Noong binuksan ang Second Vatican Council ni John XXIII noong October 11, 1962, a total of 2,540 cardinals, patriarchs, 
archbishops and bishops from around the world attended. Marami ang dumalo, ibig sabihin, marami ang nag-isip, marami ang nagsalita, marami ang nagawa sa pagbubukas at pagsisimula ng tinatawag na Second Vatican Council. At sa palagay ninyo, ano ang unang pinag-usapan? Alam niyo mga kapatid, ang unang pinag-usapan at binigyang reforma ay ang tinatawag na liturhiya. Liturhiya. Na nagresulta sa isang napakahalagang dokumento na tinatawag na Sacrosanctum Concilium or Sacred Councils. Question now, bakit liturhiya? Bakit liturhiya ang unang pinag-usapan? Tandaan, marami ang tinalakay nung mga panahong iyon from 1962 to 1965. At sa katunayan, may labing anim na tema ang pinag-usapan noon na nagresulta rin naman sa labing anim na dokumento. At ito ang nabuo sa Second Vatican Council. My friends, come to think of it. Bakit kaya hindi pinag-usapan agad ang tungkol sa decree on the instruments of social communication ang intermerifica? Bakit hindi pinag-usapan agad ang dogmatic constitution on the church na lumen gentium? Bakit hindi pinag-usapan kaagad-agad ang decree on ecumenism, ang unitatis redintegratio? O kaya decree on Eastern Catholic Churches, ang orientalium ecclesiarum at marami pang Iba, bakit liturhiya ang nauuna sa listahan ng pag-uusapan? Bakit nauuna sa listahan na dapat talakayin? Bakit? Because it speaks of our identity. Liturgy is our identity. Liturgy is our identity. At kapag pinag-uusapan ng identity, mga kapatid, we are not talking here mainly on how we pray, but also what we believe and our mission. Kaya nga matunog na matunog sa mga panahong iyon ang mga salitang Latin na Lex Orandi, Lex Credendi, Lex Vivendi. As we worship, so we believe, so we live. My friends, tandaan po natin ito. Liturgical worship is not add-on. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang po ito dagdag o kaya kapag gusto ko lang for a Catholic Christian. It is the foundation of our Catholic identity expressing our highest purpose. Worship reveals what we truly believe and how we view ourselves in relationship to God. Halimbawa, Tayong mga katoliko, kapag sinasabing katoliko, anong pinapaniwalaan natin tungkol sa Diyos? Sige nga, ikumpara mo ito sa iglesia. Sa palagay ninyo, ang iglesia, naniniwala sila na may Diyos. Very good. Ganun din tayo, syempre. Pero question now, si Jesus ba para sa kanila ay Diyos? What do you think? 
Hindi, di ho ba? Propeta si Jesus para sa kanila, but not God. But we as Catholic, we believe Jesus as God. We believe in in one God, in three divine persons. Yan ang ating paniniwala. Yan ang ating identity. Okay? Yan po yung sinasabi ko, liturgy as our identity. Not only on what we believe in God, but also on what we pray, how we pray. Alam na alam mo ang isang katoliko na katoliko. Papaano siya magdasal? Anong unang gagawin? Anong gagawin natin? Sign of the cross. Hindi mo ba? Ay, katoliko yan. Yung iba, anong gagawin nila? Kapag sila'y magdadasal, maghahawak kamay. Hindi ko naman sinasabing mali yun, pero yung mga ibang relihiyon ganun ang ginagawa. Pero tayo mga katoliko, when we start praying, it's, it starts always with the sign of the cross. Identity. And wait, there is more. Pati rin po yung mga ginagawa nating mga katoliko prosesyon, rosaryo, mga mi imahen at marami pang iba that speaks of our identity. And also, the sacraments and sacramentals that speaks of our identity. My friends, worship reveals what we truly believe and how we view in ourselves our relationship to God, to one another and to the world into which we are sent to carry forward the redemptive mission of Jesus Christ. Lex orandi, lex credendi, lex vivendi. Sa liturhiya, particularly ang Sacrosanctum Concilium. Kung babasahin po niyong maigi, pwede po niyo itong i-download ha. Libre lang po ito sa Google. Pinag-uusap, hindi, hindi gaanong pinag-uusapan dito ang mga tinatawag na detailed, detailed ritual. Ano yung sinasabi ko? Tulad ng Ilang kandila ba talaga ang gagamitin kapag misa? Dalawa ba? Tatlo ba? Lima? Eh kapag may obispo, ilan ba talaga ang gagamitin? Hindi ganoon Mars. Hindi ganoon. Walang ganong pinag-usapan sa Sacrosanctum Concilium. Anong klaseng sabon ang gagamitin ng MBG sa paglalaba sa kasulya ni Father? Ganoon ba yung pinag-usapan? Wala rin ganoon Mars. No? Ilang beses luluhod at tatayo ang tao kapag magdadasal. Walang ganong ding pinag-usapan. Ang higit na pinag-usapan dito, which is considered as the foundation, haligi ng dokumentong ito, ay ang tinatawag na full, conscious, and active participation. Anong ibig ko sabihin sa foundation o haligi? I want you to use you, you to use now your imagination. Sa palagay ninyo dito sa ating simbahan, tignan niyo po maigi. Let's be practical. Ano sa palagay ninyo ang mga haligi ang naririto? Ano yung foundation na naririto? Sige nga, tignan nga ninyo. No? So, nakikita na ninyo ang mga iyan, mga posteng iyan. Sa palagay ninyo, kapag ito ay nasira, anong mangyayari? Naturally, it will collapse. Little by little, it will collapse. Sa dokumento ng liturhiya, ang Sacrosanctum Concilium, meron ding tinatawag na foundation, haligi. Lahat ng pinag-usapan sa dokumentong ito, dito nakasentro. At ito yung ang tinatawag na full, 
conscious and active participation nating mananampalataya. Kung paano tayo higit na makikibahagi sa bawat liturhiya na dapat buo, may kamalayan at aktibo. We ask ourselves, tunay nga bang buo? May alam tayo ang nangyayari kahit papaano. I'm not asking you, dapat kayo maging theologians. Pero at least alam ba natin ang ating basic catechism? My friends, this is the challenge to each and every one of us. Sa ating ebanghelyo ngayon, pinag-uusapan ang mga tradisyon, pinag-uusapan ang mga ritual. Ang mga saduseyo at mga pariseyo ay tinatanong si Jesus, bakit hindi ginagawa ng mga ilang alagad mo ang mga ritual, ang mga tradisyon? Bakit hindi sila naguhugas ng kamay? Ted, baribaridad! My friends, Si Jesus, kung titignan nating mabuti, yes, mahalaga ang tradisyon kay Jesus. Kaya nga pumupunta siya lagi sa Jerusalem. Eh. Mahalaga sa kanya ang mga ritual. Pero ano ang mas higit na mahalaga sa kanya? My friends, my sisters, and my brothers, Jesus concerns more is how we live the faith. Hindi niya sinasabing huwag natin gawin, pero huwag sana natin kalamutan kung ano ang kumpara saan ang mga ito at kung paano natin isinasabuhay ang pananampalataya. Kasi ang mga saduseyo at mga pariseyo are entrapped in their own interpretation and fulfillment of the laws and customs without finding in their piety a light that could guide them. Nawawala ang saysay ng ritual, nawawala ang saysay ng tradisyon kung nakafocus lang tayo sa do's and don'ts. Tatayo ba? Uupo ba? Kakanta na ba o hindi? Huwag tayong mechanical. Yan lang naman po ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon. What is the essence? Bakit natin lahat ito ginagawa? Kaya nga, kung titignan natin mabuti, itong paanyaya ng Second Vatican Council na full conscious and active participation is not new. Hindi ito bago. Noon at noon pa ito, mismo sa bibig ni Jesus nang gagaling ang mga ito. Rituals are important. Pero sana, alamin natin, buo, may kamalayan sana kung bakit natin ito ginagawa. Naalala ko nga po eh, nagbibinyag po ako noon. Ito'y talagang totoong kwento. Nagbibinyag ako noon, biglang tumunog ang cellphone, lumabas ang tatay. Nung lumabas ang tatay, nasabi ko tuloy, itigil ang binyag. Nagtanong ang sangninong, bakit po? Kasi yung tatay dala ang bata. Aro Diyos ko. Ganun ang iba. Nandyan nga, pero hindi alam ang ginagawa. My friends, take note of this when we talk about liturgy. Ang agad nasa isip kasi natin yung misa. Tama naman po, pero when we talk, about, when we talk about liturgy, we are also talking about confirmation, baptism, anointing of the sick, at marami pang iba. It's how we worship the Lord. One thing for sure, God loves us, period. Mahal niya tayo. Pero ano yung tugon na ating ibinibigay? Is it full 
conscious and active participation. And this will be our point of reflection. Sa bawat pagpunta natin sa simbahan, sa bawat pagbukas natin ng cellphone upang mak makisimba via online, paano nga ba tayo nakikilahok sa bawat liturhiya? Ibinibigay na ba natin ng buong-buo ang ating sarili? O baka yung isip natin, ano kaya ang aking bibilhin sa palengke mamaya? Yung iba naman na nakabaya online, tabi-tabi lang po, nakabukas nga ang cellphone sa misa, pero anong ginagawa? Nagluluto? Nagwawalis? Di ho ba, mga kapatid, kung nagsisimba ka, nagsimba tayo. Sabi nga sa aklat ng Ecclesiastes, there is a time for everything. Kapag panahon ng pagsamba, panahon ng pagsisimba, simple lang naman po, magsimba tayo. We pause for a while. Jesus accused the Pharisees and the scribes of disregarding God's commandment in order to uphold their human tradition. Let us pray that we may honor God not just with our lips, but with our heart. Let our prayer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May church leaders... Reject every reject spiritual worldliness, which hides behind the appearance of piety and even love for the church, and does not go forth and seek out the needy and the lost. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we not allow ourselves to be robbed of the power of the gospel that breaks through human traditions and long-held concepts to free us from self-centeredness in order to awaken the world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the people of God be open to new ideas and new programs for evangelization and not be held back simply because things have always been done this or that way, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our piety move from prayer into action, bearing the fruits of good works, we pray. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. <clears throat> May we honor our father and mother, helping them specially in their old age, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of COVID-19, and of stemming the tide of its transmission. <clears throat> Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, and of those governments and private agencies that must find care and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Send us a good, holy, learned, and wise man to become our next archbishop. Inspire us, the clergy, religious, and laity, to work generously with him so that we may might grow together in your love and continue the good work you have begun in us for the sake of all people, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord our God, who once established this created thing to sustain us in our frailty, grant we pray that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will, and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. Bind your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for him for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our apostolic administrator, all the bishops, the clergy, the religious, and your people, especially our community gathered here.
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in this pandemic, all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, patron of the Universal Church, with Peter, Paul, and Andrew, and all the blessed apostles, with Saint John Paul II, Padre Pio, Blessed Alberione, Blessed Jacardo, Blessed Elena Guerra, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be here. Communion Antiphone Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be consoled. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall have their faith. The Body of Christ Amen Prayer for Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dahil ngayon po ay Martes Dolores, tayo po ay magdadasal para sa ating mahal na inang Mater Dolorosa. Please all kneel. O Blessed Virgin Mary, Immaculate Mother of God, you endured a martyrdom of love and grief. Beholding the sufferings and sorrows of Jesus, you cooperated in our redemption by your in innumerable afflictions and by offering to the Eternal Father His only begotten Son as a holocaust and victim of propitiation for our sins. Thank you for the unspeakable love which led you to deprive yourself of the fruit of your womb, Jesus, true God and true man, to save us. Mother, make use of the unfailing intercession of your sorrows with the Father and the Son, that we may amend our lives and never again crucify Jesus by new sins, that we persevere till death in God's grace, that we obtain these favors. Lord Jesus Christ, our Master, grant that the most blessed Virgin Mary, whose most holy soul was transfixed with the sword of sorrow in the hour of your passion, may intercede for us before your throne of mercy. Now and at the hour of our death, we offer you, O Lord, the merits acquired by Mary, your mother and ours, when she stood at the foot of the cross and when she held your lifeless, sacred body. Imprint, O Mater Dolorosa de la Pita, your wounds upon our hearts, that we may read sorrow and love, sorrow to endure every sorrow for you, love to despise other loves but you. Mary, ever virgin and queen of martyrs, accept the homage of our filial affection. Into your heart, pierced by so many swords, welcome our poor souls. Receive us as companions of your sorrows at the foot of the cross. With you, O sorrowful virgin, we gladly suffer all the trials, contradictions, and infirmities that our Lord permits for us. We offer all to you in memory of your sorrows, so that every thought of our minds and every beat of our hearts may be an act of compassion and of love for you. Blessed Mother, have pity on us, reconcile us to your divine Son, keep us in his grace, assist us in our last agony, so that we may be able to meet you in heaven and sing your glories. Teach us to be partakers in the adversities of our Holy Mother Church and the sorrows of the Pope. Then, may we also rejoice with the whole church in the consolations of the love and peace of Christ our Lord. Mother of mercy, help of Christians, dispenser of divine providence, treasurer of all graces, remember that never was it heard that you left without comfort anyone who comes to you with devotion. We trust in your tender pity, Obtain for us graces for all our spiritual and temporal needs. Finally, we recommend to your immaculate and sorrowful heart the conversion of sinners, the spread of the Catholic faith, the final solace of the suffering souls in purgatory. Amen. Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta. Ora pro nobis. Saint Paul the Apostle. Pray for us. Blessed James Alberione and Blessed Timothy Giacardo. Pray for us. Please be seated for some announcements. Para po sa 80th anniversary in OLSP, haayusin natin ang simbahan upang maging shrine at studio ng Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta. Ano mang contribution po ninyo ay welcome. Pakideposit sa Metrobank account ng Our Lady of Soros Parish. Ang numero ay naka-flash sa screen. I-send and screenshot ng deposit slip sa messenger account ni parokya para sa maayos na accounting. 
Pwede rin pong mag-deposit sa BPI account at GCash ng parokya. Paki-indicate sa screenshot ng deposit slip na ito ay for church renovation. Pwede rin po ibigay ang offering sa parish office, humingi ng resibo at sabihin na ito ay para sa church renovation. Suportahan po natin ang lahat ng gawain ng parokya. Ipadala po ang inyong offertory gifts, love offerings at donations sa Metrobank Current Account, BPI Current Account, GCash Account. Kunin ang mga numbers na naka-flash sa screen o sa tarpaulin sa harap ng simbahan. Mga religious items na available sa ating OLSP Parish Office. OLSP Face Mask at 50 pesos. 365 Days Bible Diary at 200 pesos per copy. Martes Dolores, ang perpetual novena ng Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta at 21 wall calendar ng Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta at 40 pesos. Sabbath 2021 or scripture meditations for every day at 300 pesos. Puntahan sa parish office or mag-message sa FB Messenger account ng parish. Available na po ang SSP Love offering envelopes natin para sa lahat ng gustong mag-alay. Ang mga envelopes ng mga alay ay pwedeng ialagay sa ating mga collection boxes sa harap ng altar. Ang SSP Love offering envelopes ay para po sa inyong mga alay sa S Shrine and Sanctuary Construction, S Studio or Live Stream Apostolate, and P Pasasalamat and Prayer Request. Ash Wednesday Schedule ng Misa 6 a.m., 12 noon, 5.30 p.m., Rosary and Mass, 7.30 p.m. Maraming salamat po. Ang isang salita na talagang naging sikat popular noong panahon ng Second Vatican Council ay ang tinatawag na adjournamento. Nang ibig sabihin sa salitang Italian ay bringing up to date. At ito ang paalala sa atin bilang mananampalataya. Pag-ibawuyuhin sana ho natin ang ating pagpakikipaglahok, pakikibahagi sa bawat liturhiya na sana full, conscious, and active participation. Magsitayo na po ang lahat. All the priests will be giving the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mula sa parokya ng Our Lady of Soros, F.B. Harrison, Pasay City. Mula sa mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya. Mula sa Sambuhay TV Unit ng Our Lady of Soros Parish, salamat po. God bless you, Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta, cares for you.